Then it is sleep awareness week here on Get Up DC. We just call it a cruel week in morning television, but all week long, we're gonna be looking at secrets to get some better sleep. So could a lack of sleep actually lead to a problem for you? Yeah. We're talking heart issues. A new study does suggest that insomnia increases your chances of having a heart attack. Who knew this? there was a link here? Matt Gregory looking deeper into this study and he joins us in the studio. Matt, what did you find out? Hey, I imagine if you're waking up with us that getting a good night of sleep is a priority for you. So this study started by looking at insomnia patients and for reference, who has insomnia? These are people who have difficulty falling asleep, staying asleep or waking up early and can't fall back asleep. If this is you, this study suggests it's time for you to take your sleep seriously. Last fall, a group of researchers from across the world published this study, which in layman's terms shows a link between a lack of sleep and heart attacks. And we have now strong evidence that insomnia is a disease and sleep is medicine. To explain the study, I spoke to the people behind it, Dr. Hani Ayash and Yom Nadeen. We talked over Zoom. Now, they wanted to see if there was a link between insomnia and heart attacks. And after studying more than a million people's health and sleep habits, they found people with insomnia had a 69% higher chance of getting a heart attack than people with normal sleep habits. Then we did analysis of a lot of stuff, the hours of sleep. And they didn't stop with insomnia. The study also found for heart health, the ideal hours of sleep appeared to be seven to eight hours. Five hours or less increased heart attack chances by 56%, and sleeping more than nine hours also increased heart attack risk. If you didn't make your car park <laughs> seven to eight hours, or it can, or you sleep a lot, you are exposed to MI. Okay, so you want to prevent heart issues by getting sleep. What can you do? Here are five tips from the CDC. Number one, go to sleep every night at the same time. Number two, make your bedroom dark, quiet, and relaxing. Number three, no screen time. That means no smartphones, computers, or TV on. Number four, avoid large meals, caffeine, and alcohol before bed. And number five, this is just good for general health. Get exercise during the day. All of these things can help lead to better sleep habits for you. Annie? Back to you. All very, very good tips, especially the screen time. Yeah, because that is a stimulant. Like mm -hmm. it'll just your brain won't shut down after that. I like peaceful bedroom. Yeah, if we could make it our sanctuary, yes. Yeah. But it's it's hard, it especially hard. with daylight saving. Ugh. Okay, Don't anywho. Get me <laughs> All week long, we will be doing stories for Sleep Awareness Week. Tomorrow, we'll verify some common questions and myths when it comes to sleep. Make sure you tune in all week long during our 6 o'clock hour. I have a question. I am the nap queen. Mm -hmm. I wonder if you get, like, chunks of sleep. Does it count? Oh, right. Three hours here and then Matt's four hours at night. Mm -hmm. Okay. As the bye -bye. sleep king. He's expert. the sleep king. <laughs> nap queen, sleep king. <laughs>